Hey there, Chad Barnes you're here for Ohio University Libraries. This video is admittedly one of the longest videos I've made. It's designed to give the beginning business researcher a good overview of where to find company information. It's going to cover where to find basic company information, where to find articles about a company, where to find legal issues about a company, where to find a SWOT analysis for your company, all those different kinds of things. Where to find analyst reports or equity reports or stock reports for your company. It goes through about four or five different resources. So it's worth looking at and it's designed for um, those classes who I may not get to meet with who are basically doing a a uh, good overview of, of a company, looking for things like what the company's doing, some of its competitors, they need to understand the company's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, all those kinds of things. This video kind of walks you through the various resources that you'll use in doing that type of company research. So here you go. So when you're doing company research and you know nothing about a company or you just need a good place to start, Hoover's is a great place for that. And I'm going to show you why. We're going to go here and we are going to search for Walmart, which is the name of my company I'm going to deal with uh, today. And we'll just do Walmart and do search. You can see it brings up quite a few different Walmarts. Uh, eventually you'll find the right one. Uh, we want the one that is the headquarters and I happen to know Walmart is a public company. So there's the New York Stock Exchange ticker there. So that's the company I want. Okay. Now this takes us to the Walmart Stores Incorporated homepage and notice how it's spelled here. I didn't spell it that way. I spelled W-A-L-M-A-R-T. You want to make sure you get that dash and some other databases there if, it, if you notice there's some punctuation issues. Uh, so this is a great place to start if you know nothing about a company. Um, here on the homepage we get a company description. You can click more for information there. Uh, this is actually pretty good because you click the full, read the full description here and it gives you some information about the company, some operations, and also some information about the company's strategy, which is pretty interesting to look at uh, there. If you want a good company history, back on the home page here, you can click on Read Company History. All these links here are also available under these various headings up here. So here's our company history. This will be a good place to, to give you uh, a perhaps a better history than what you'll find on, the, find on the company website. Sometimes the company website can be a little bit biased and won't necessarily tell the whole story. In this case, hopefully uh, Hoover's will, will unfold a little bit more of the story than what's uncovered on the, on the Walmart website. This is a great place to find company financials here. And I'll just look at the financial summary as an example here. It's kind of the financial uh, snapshot page here. You can kind of see how Walmart's doing against the company versus the industry versus the market as a whole things like that. Uh, if you'd like, you can see that there is um, a news page about the company and this will link you to uh, news stories around the internet about what's going on with the company. So it's one, one way to kind of find information about, uh, about Walmart and they've even incorporated some social media here with Twitter, uh, things like that, as well as a, a weekly or monthly event timeline here pertaining to what's going on with, um, with Walmart in the news. If you want to analyze Walmart versus the competition, there is a nice uh, competitors list or competitive landscape. The competitive landscape will actually benchmark Walmart against um, three other companies that Hoover's chooses to be in that particular industry. Okay, so here we have Walmart against uh, Target versus Costco versus Carrefour. Uh, so all these are uh, major kind of supermarket and general uh, retailer establishments, big box stores, if you will. Okay, you can also go up and look at the competitors list. And this is a way that you can actually see all the different competitors that Hoover's kind of puts in the same industry. And what's nice about this, you can go in and actually choose different companies to compare Walmart to, up to three. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll click compare competitors. And so this gives us a nice list, kind of a customized list, customized, uh, um, customized list of, of companies to look at when we're comparing um, uh, Walmart. Now here's what's interesting here about this comparison. You see Walmart's making a whole lot of money on annual sales, but their profit margin is actually lower than Dollar General, which is kind of interesting there. So um, pretty, pretty interesting comparison there. Okay, so it's a good way to get information to compare uh, the different companies and, and things like that. So if you want to know where Walmart operates, here's a products and operations. And in this case, it'll tell you um, in which areas of the world Walmart operates. 
In addition to this, I'll also tell you the percentage of sales from there, or how many stores they have. And then the percentage of sales uh, by each, um, looks like by each establishment that Walmart owns or, or each, each uh, small uh, Walmart company, as well as um, the, the product lines that Walmart sells in their, in their various stores. So here we see most of their sales, over half are coming from grocery. And then we get into things like entertainment and health and wellness and then other other goods like that so a good way to see uh, uh, how how walmart makes their money again this is this is uh, hoover is a great place to look for uh, company information especially if you're limited on time or you've never done really in-depth business research or you just need to get um, a get started looking at a particular company this is a great resource uh, for that the second place we'll look is a database called LexisNexis. There's a couple different ways to use this. Uh, one way, if you just want to just type in this, the search box here, we'll just type in Walmart. LexisNexis is, is primarily known as a newspaper database. And so if we search for Walmart, here it brings up um, all kinds of information. If you just want to click on newspapers to limit um, our results down. So here we have stuff from the New York Times. Uh, stuff from the Santa Fe New Mexican International Herald Tribune and this will give us information about um, uh, Walmart and some of the, the uh, world newspapers and things like that. So a great way to kind of get um, news information uh, about your company. Uh, a quick way to kind of get information from, from basically newspapers from around the globe. So it's a great way to find that kind of information. Another way to use this is there's a Get Company Info section here. So if you want to, you can go down and let's just type in Walmart here and do go there. This is going to take us, once we find our company here, is going to take us into a, a place that looks very similar or has similar information to what you found in Hoover's uh, previously talked about in this video. And a lot of the information is actually going to be very, very similar because it's all kind of financial kind of information and things like that. Uh, so if you want to, you can, you, can, you can use this instead of Hoover's because the financial information should be identical because it all comes from official uh, SEC filings from the Securities and Exchange Commission. So, so, so it's all based upon their 10K and 10Q reports and things like that. Um, you might see if you go to like things like competitors, they may give you a slightly different list of competitors. Uh, things like that. You can click on some of these comp competitors and go to those companies here inside of LexisNexis. Um, they also have a news section within here that might be worth looking at because this will give you uh, current news about your company, right? So here we have information from your current uh, uh, current news about your company. And if you want to, you can see there's also um, major newspapers or if you want to see how Walmart is being talked about in a particular aspect of the world, you can change um, to different newspapers in that area. So a good way to kind of find news on your on your company as well. One other thing you can look at here is that there is a recent cases information in here. So if you want to see recent U.S. cases of which Walmart has been involved in. And um, so here we see different cases of which Walmart is a, um, is a plaintiff or a defendant in a lawsuit or things like that. So a great way to find information about you know what sort of, of legal battles uh, Walmart is currently um, involved in. So again, this is LexisNexis. Lots of different ways to use this. this is, these are just a few ways to use it if you're just doing basic company uh, research. The last database we'll show you is a database called um, Business Source Complete. And in this database, this is a good place to also find uh, articles about your, your company. So if we go in and type in Walmart, now this is kind of funny. If you do Walmart here, you'll notice I get some, some search terms. But if I search Wall Dash Mart, here we have Walmart Stores Incorporated, the actual name of the company. So sometimes punctuation will matter a little bit. So be careful about that. You may have to try different searches to see what happens. Now this brings up 17,000 uh, results here in Business Source Complete. If you want, you can go limit to, to newspapers, right? and find newspaper articles. Now what you'll probably find is the majority of the newspaper articles in here come from the Wall Street Journal. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why you might want to check out LexisNexis, the database right before I talked, started talking about this one, because it's more than just the Wall Street Journal. So if you want more information you know, from other places, this may not be the, the best place for that. However, it's a great place for magazine articles. 
So we go to limit to magazines over here on the left hand side. Here we have uh, articles from like Money Magazines, from Fortune Magazine, things like that. Now if you want to you can go over here and change the limiter so we get stuff from maybe the past two years. And so we're now down to 753 instead of over 4,000. And so we have stuff from Money Magazine, Business Week, Forbes, uh, different places like that. Okay, businessweek.com, um, all kinds of in fortune, things like that. So a great way to kind of find magazine articles about your company. This is also a great place, and we'll get rid of the magazine limiter here. Um, actually, I tell you what, let me just do a new search here. Uh, I'm going to go in and search for Walmart again, and we're going to get the same number of, of, of search results here. This is also a great place to look for SWOT analyses, um, an analysis of your company's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And to find those, all you got to do is search for your company, get a list of results, and then go down here and click Show More. And if there's a SWOT analysis available for your company, there'll be a checkbox here. So just click check, do update, and here we have our Walmart store SWOT analysis. Uh, it looks like these come out uh, about every year to six months or so. The last one looks like was from August of 2014. You need the full text over here on the left hand side. And so this will load the company profile for Walmart Stores Incorporated uh, from a company called MarketLine puts this together. And you can see on page four, Let's scroll past the key facts here. It gives you the SWOT analysis. So basically, it tells you what the company's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are. Okay. Now, this is a great place to get started with researching your company. Don't necessarily take all this information and declare it to be totally true and then say you're done with your research. You want to build upon the information that you find in here. Okay. So, if we see, for example, here is um, uh, stuff about internationalization. Right, we say, oh, that's one of their strengths, and we might want to go back into Business Source Complete, or even back into LexisNexis and search for Walmart and internationalization to see if we get additional articles about that topic to build upon the SWOT analysis found in here. Okay, so it's a great way to kind of find information uh, on your company, um, and and great place to find basic information for your company. Just build upon it with with additional information that you find. So I know I said that Business Source Complete was the last one I wanted to show you, but I want to give you a bonus. This is Emergent Online, and this is a, a little more advanced than what you'll find in, in Hoover's or even in LexisNexis, but um, the power users out there may appreciate, uh, we'll just do a search for Walmart here, may appreciate uh, using this uh, instead of LexisNexis or Hoover's. Uh, you can see there's all kinds of stuff for company financials, there's information on competitors, there's a news section here. Uh, things like that. So very similar overlap to what you might find in Hoover's, but um, a lot of information uh, can be downloaded. It's um, you can manipulate the data a little bit easier here in in um, in Mergent. I do want to kind of highlight one thing in here um, under the reports. This is a place where you can go and get what's called an equity report, and this will give you um, a um, basically it's a stock report that basically tells you if the company is worth investing in right now or not. And so if you can see there's also competitor reports for, um, for, uh, for Walmart here. And just click on the PDF here, we'll open our, our PDF here. Once it downloads, we'll have our, have our report that basically will tell us if the company is a buy, sell, or a hold. So in this case, uh, Ford Equity Research, a product of Mergent, is telling us that to hold on uh, either buying or selling Walmart stock. Okay, so if we already own it, don't sell it yet. If we don't own it, don't buy it yet. And it'll give you uh, some of the rationale in this three-page uh, three-page snapshot. You can see um, that the only one they're recommending to buy is actually Big Lots, and it will tell you some of the the financial information, things like that, based that that base that decision. So a great place to look for uh, a stock report or an equity report for uh, for your company and its competitors. While we're in here under the reports tab, there's this Mergent Reports feature, which actually allows you to do like predefined reports. So if you just want a quick uh, uh, fact sheet on your company, you can do that. And it will give you a nice little preview over here on the right hand side to tell you what, a little bit about your company. Or if you want a fact sheet express, uh, things like that. So these are all kinds of information that you can download uh, from Mergent to get a nice uh, snapshot or a very in-depth report depending on your needs 
uh, here from Mergent Online. Hopefully this video helped you better understand how to get started in company research. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.